Hello everybody! Today we're going to unbox, take a close-up look and test the creative iRaw Go. So let's first take a look around the outside of the box. So in this box is a creative iRaw Go portable wireless Bluetooth speaker with an IPX6 water resistant design. And here are some of its features. And continuing to take a look around the box packaging and on the underside of the box there are further features and specifications of this wireless Bluetooth speaker. And now let's go ahead and open up the box by cutting apart the clear sticky seal that's keeping the box securely closed. So doing so very carefully with a pen knife and now let's lift the box lid up and off from its base. And just checking on the underside to make sure nothing is stuck behind the box lid. So taking a nice good look in the box, you can see that everything is neatly packaged in clear or white boxes and there is of course a packet of silica gel or desiccant. Uh, let's put that aside and keep that away from babies, children and animals. Now continuing to remove the contents from the box packaging. There is of course a tray there. And various compartments. And this is, of course, the creative iRaw Go speaker that's nicely wrapped up. And lifting out the contents of the box packaging and setting them on the tabletop. And just lifting up that inner tray. And of course checking through to make sure nothing is attached or stuck on the underside of it. So setting that to the side. And finally removing the last item from the box packaging. We can set that down on the tabletop along with the other items which were removed from the box packaging. And just going to close that box right up again for the creative iRaw Go portable wireless Bluetooth speaker and just setting it down on the left hand side of the frame and just tidying up the tabletop so there's no interference for the maximum viewing pleasure. So just laying out the contents across the tabletop, spreading them across right there. Okay, so those are the contents of the Creative iRaw Go wireless Bluetooth speaker. Let's first start off by taking a look at this packet here. So there is a packet with the user manual and other booklets. So we're just going to set that down and to the side and moving right along. There is a two pin plug, adapter, setting that down, and there is a three pin plug adapter for the speaker. So various adapter plugs or heads to work with the power adapter. So this is another two pin plug as you can see with a different flat design and yet another two pin plug. Okay, so setting the contents down and moving right along, there is a USB cable here with a USB type A and a micro USB connector ends. So giving you a close up look right there. at this USB cable with a Type-A 
and micro USB connectors. Okay, setting that down and moving right along. Of course, we do have the power adapter itself. So sliding that out and in the packet, there is a 3.5 millimeter audio extension cable, it looks like. So right there, giving you a look. So on the plug end, the 3.5 millimeter plug end has a gold plated design or gold plating. So giving you a look right there. Okay, and moving right along and right back to the power adapter just to give you a look at the specifications and of course the cable length as well. So giving you a look right there as the size and overall details. So I'm just going to shift once again the background so it doesn't interfere with the foreground right here. As we look at this power adapter for this creative iRaw Go portable wireless Bluetooth speaker Close up look right there as to the specifications, and of course, with the various connector heads that we saw earlier, we can use this power adapter to work in different regions. And there's further specifications on the side. And let's undo the cable length or cable tie to show you the cable length of this power adapter or power supply. And always slightly fiddly trying to unwind the power adapter cables, especially if they are long. And we can see that this one is clearly reasonably long in length. So right there, giving you a look at this creative iRaw Go portable speakers, power adapter cable length. And giving you a look right there. Okay, so moving right along, actually just one more look at the pin plug, which we didn't really pay too much attention to. So quite important, especially when it comes to the need for another or a replacement power supply. So right there, giving you a look. Okay, so that's the power adapter done. Let's set that down on the left-hand side, perhaps. Or right-hand side of the frame. And finally, to the Creative iRaw Go speaker itself. As you can see, it is wrapped up. Let's take it out from its protective packaging and, of course, recycle or reuse the bag thoughtfully. So, here we have the Creative iRaw Go portable speaker. So, it does have a nice weight to it. You know, medium to heavy in weight. I mean, based on its appearance, doesn't feel too heavy, nor does it feel too light. It has a noticeable heft to it. So it is a Red Dot Design winner for 2016. And giving you a look right there. And as to the size as well, but before that, just setting it down so you have a nice clear view of this speaker. And the speaker can be orientated, orientated in various positions for different acoustic performance. So it can be set upright or flat or horizontal across the tabletop. But now just continuing to show you the different aspects of this creative iRaw Go speaker.
So it does have two passive radiators on the ends of the speaker. So right there, machine finished and with the creative branding on it. So you can see that kind of sunburst pattern with that machine finishing on both ends of the speaker with that passive radiator on both ends. But there it is a five driver design. And I'm just taking a look around and giving you some idea as to the size of the speaker resting in my hand. Right there. And of course, holding it in my palm to give you some sense of the size of this creative eye roll go. Now let's take a close up look at the speaker so we can see the different buttons on the button panel on the front left hand side of the speaker the power on minus plus and bluetooth call settings as well as the source button and on the top end there is a roll button to enhance the bass as well as other media control buttons and just moving right along towards the other end of the speaker there is a covered panel here so let's lift that section up or cover up remember it is ipx6 rated so it is water resistant in design being that this speaker is kind of built for outdoor or on-the-go use. Right there we can see a power out, so this can also work as a power bank to charge your devices. There is that USB power in to of course charge the speaker itself and a micro SD card slot as well for playback I believe. And this speaker has a built-in microphone for sound recording as well. Now trying to lift that other side up. So actually let's lift both flaps up so you can see all the connector inputs and outputs at the top of this speaker. So right there we can see the power in and of course aux in as well so it will accept audio input so you can actually connect a microphone or a different playback source into this speaker. So to give you some perspective once again, so right there giving you a more complete view of the position of the various controls. So right there, top down, as we can see on the top panel of the speaker, depending on how you decide to set your speaker up either in the vertical position or horizontal it does have different acoustic properties and of course positioning where your speaker is as well whether it's on a surface up against a wall will bring various acoustic dynamics and taking a look at the back of the speaker i'm just going to close those flaps up very simply so silicone covers or flaps and now taking a look at the back of the speaker with the iRaw Go branding towards the top of that back, back vent and some further compliance certification details So in terms of the mesh, it does have a metal speaker mesh around, wrapping around the front panel and towards the bottom, depending on, of course, the orientation of how you decide to position or stand or lay the speaker down. So once again, as I mentioned, nice weight to it, 
without feeling excessively heavy, but there is that weight to the speaker. So it can be positioned flat or horizontally or upright. And of course you can see there are those two silicone bars or strips and they feel like they are non-slip strips as well so you can see right there prodding on the speaker it does stay nicely in place and even in the upright position as we can just about make out the two translucent strips so one on this end and one on the other end also helpful for vibration absorption as well so there we go staying straight up and of course non-marking without scratching your surface so tapping and it stays nicely in place so nice weight and of course with those anti-slip strips translucent for the vertical upright positioning and the two black ones running along the bottom or back right there for a flat or horizontal setup. So once again, just taking a further out look and then up close with the buttons and controls. And of course, there are a row of indicator lights as well. And taking a look at that flap again, this time around giving you a quicker, more detailed look. And this material right here, you can hear just how solid and dense this design is. Okay, now let's go ahead and turn it on. Let's try that by pressing on the power button. And let's see if it does respond. So it feels like it may require a charge. So let's do that. Let's give it some power supply by connecting the three pin British or UK plug. So giving you a look right there, as we saw earlier, there are a variety of plug heads or connectors to work with the adapter. This is the British three pin plug. And let's slide it on to the adapter. So giving you a look right there. And let's see, have I got it in the right way? Yes, right there. And sliding it in and clipping it in place. Okay, so now let's connect the DC pin plug in. So giving you a look there. And we've seen earlier that the power supply for the adapter does plug in to that first slot on the left. So let's do that. And now setting it down and of course plugging the power supply into a power source or mains power and you can see that and here that little serious sounding chime and some lights indicator lights illuminated or blinking or flashing right there with the power and BT. Okay, so now let's try and turn it on. Hopefully it is ready to be used. Okay, so that might have turned it off. So let's turn it on because we saw that the BT light went off and now it should come back on. Well, let's try and pair it. Remember, not read the instructions so always read the instructions to familiarize yourself so we just 
give it a go. So right here, I do have a Sony Xperia XZ3 Android smartphone, which I've unboxed on the channel before, and it's in the Blinks Slim TPU Carbon Fiber Effect case, which I've also unpacked or unboxed on the channel before. So let's go into the phone and go into the Bluetooth settings and see if we can pair the creative iRaw Go speaker with this smartphone. So it's looking for available devices and I'm not even sure if we've got the setting right in the pairing mode or not. But nonetheless, okay, so perhaps what we need to do is press on the Bluetooth button. Now in pairing mode. There we go, you hear the audio prompt. And there, the creative iRaw Go has now appeared on the available devices list. Let's now pair. And let's allow access and pair. Connected. And you can hear all those audio prompts, nice and crisp, coming out from the speaker. And now let's play some music. So I do have the YouTube app ready. So loading the volume first. Sounding really rich and clear. Audio coming from the speaker. Let's hit that raw button. Well, I hear that difference where now it feels so much more immersive. 